thank you for watching this commentary about the exhibit about Thaddeus Stevens at Gettysburg College in the special collections uh, room at Musselman Library on the fourth floor. Uh, this is a rather informal uh, recording, so you might uh, have pauses and other uh, mishaps as we go along, but uh, I thought I'd give you a rundown on this uh, exhibit that's up at Gettysburg College until April 2013. Right now we're just looking at an overview of the exhibit, which has uh, many different items in it. Uh, the items come from the Thaddeus Stevens Society, uh, Gettysburg College, uh, Lancaster Historical Society, the Thaddeus Stevens College of Technology, the Adams County Historical Society, Caledonia State Park, and the private collection of Dr. Bradley Hoke. the camera to pan around to the beginning of the exhibit. And the first place we're going to be looking at is that of Stevens in education. As a poor boy who benefited greatly from education, Fatty Stevens was an ardent supporter of public schools and colleges throughout his life. Early in his political career, he defied his own party and many county voters in 1834 when he supported a state appropriation of $18,000 to the fledgling Pennsylvania College, now Gettysburg College. This support also established his lifelong practice of voting for what he thought was right and not for what was politically popular. Here we see a picture of Stevens Hall, which was built in Gettysburg College to, uh, to commemorate Thaddeus Stevens support of the college, lifelong support. In fact, he was on the board of uh, Gettysburg College from 1834 to 1868, the date of his death. And here you see uh, a reprint of his, uh, he also supported it in the uh, uh, state legislature and is credited with turning back a repeal effort of public education in 1835 with his famous speech on April 11th. His dedication to education continued even after his death. In his will, he left $50,000 to create a house of refuge for homeless and indigent off orphans, stating that no preference shall be shown on account of race or color. All students shall be educated in the same classes and manner without regard to color. They shall be fed at the same table. This institution is now Thaddeus Stevens College of Technology, considered one of the finest two year colleges. Here you have a program from Abolition and Impeachment. Uh, Thaddeus Stevens, from the 1820s on, was an ardent abolitionist. Here you see uh, the Liberator uh, newspaper, which was a very famous newspaper put out during that period by William Lloyd Garrison, uh, which advocated uh, uh, abolition. Here you have a West, uh, a newspaper picture of Thaddeus Stevens addressing Congress. When Stevens was elected to Congress in 1849, his opposition to slavery was clear from the outset. Slavery supporters took note of Stevens' entry into the fight. Our enemy has a general now, said Hal Cobb of Georgia, Speaker of the House in 1850 and later one of the founders of the Confederacy. He does not want higher office, therefore we cannot allure him, Cobb said Stevens. He is not vicious, therefore we cannot seduce him. He is in earnest. He means what he says. He is bold. He cannot be flattered. Even in his late years, in 1868, he continued his crusade against uh, abolition and also trying to uh, 
free or try to uh, acquire equal rights for the free blacks. Uh, this uh, took the form of his efforts to impeach Andrew Johnson, who was uh, an obstruction to Thaddeus Stevens' plan in the South. The next, next part of the exhibit is about Thaddeus Stevens in Gettysburg, where he lived from 1816 to 1842. Uh, here we have a uh, a picture of uh, a thing he put out about Freemasonry. He was uh, in the anti-Mason party, and uh, it seems that uh, that irritated a lot of people, and there were rumors about him being involved in the murder of a, a young black woman. He brought libel suits against those people. Not only one, but two libel suits. In both cases, they could not produce evidence against him. Uh, here you have a picture of the reconstructed stack, iron stack at uh, Caledonia State Park, where uh, Thaddeus Stevens' iron mill was. He started the iron mill in 1837. And by 1842, he was $200,000 in debt, which uh, caused him to leave uh, Gettysburg and move over to Lancaster, uh, where he could make more money uh, to pay down his debt. This is a franked envelope to uh, Edward McPherson, a protege of his in Gettysburg, where Thaddeus Stevens is offering uh, Edward McPherson a job as an editor of the newspaper over in Lancaster. That was in This is a copy of uh, the proceeds of uh, the anti-Mason party in 1830, which Thaddeus Stevens uh, participated in. The anti-Mason party grew out of an incident in upstate New York where a man was kidnapped and presumably killed by the Masons who threatened to reveal his, uh, their secrets. This uh, caused the first successful third party in the United States, the anti-Mason party, uh, which Thaddeus Stevens was a major part of. Uh, he later uh, went on to become a Whig and then Republican uh, in 1858. This is about Thaddeus Stevens himself as a man. Uh, he had more than his share of physical afflictions. Uh, he was born with a uh, deformed uh, left foot known as club foot, and he also uh, was stricken by uh, a fever in his middle age. Uh, he lost all his hair. Here you can see his wig and his cane that was necessary because of his club foot. And here are his uh, club foot boots. Uh, you notice the left one, which uh, doesn't really have a heel. This uh, uh, also made him a rather generous person, as one person said. Remarkable endowments was that his never failing spirit of generous uh, kindness, which made his pleasure to go be good for to and confer benefits on all who came within his reach. This is a picture of his uh, housekeeper, Lydia Hamilton Smith, who started working for him in 1848. Uh, despite her being uh, half black, uh, he treated her with respect. This part of the exhibit is about uh, his death. Uh, it was widely covered. In fact, uh, it rivaled that of uh, Lincoln's uh, as far as uh, national uh, sorrow. Here we have a picture of uh, Fatty Stevens on his deathbed, uh, surrounded by nuns and also uh, Lydia Hamilton Smith at the bottom. a picture of uh, Thaddeus Stevens laying in, uh, laying in state in the Capitol, uh, in the uh, Capitol Rotunda in Washington, an honor only given to Henry Clay and Abraham Lincoln up to that time. Uh, 20,000 people attended his funeral in Lancaster. Uh, half of them uh, were African Americans. And there was 
also a special booklet put out by Congress which had remembrances and tributes to Thaddeus Stevens by fellow congressmen. Uh, he refused to be buried in a segregated cemetery. Instead, he is buried in an integrated cemetery where his epitaph reads, I repose in this quiet, secluded spot, not from any natural preference for solitude, but finding other cemeteries and limited to raised by charter leaders. I have chosen this by my illustrating my death, the principles which I advocated through a long life, the quality of man before his creator. Here we have some more recent uh, Thaddeus Stevens uh, memorabilia. Here is a poster for Tennessee Johnson, which is a movie about Andrew Johnson, and uh, featured Lionel Barrymore playing Thaddeus Stevens back in 1942. Uh, this, you see a uh, picture of the reconstructed house of Thaddeus Stevens in Lancaster. And there's also a uh, poster to um, there's a picture of the house. This was a book which attacked Thaddeus Stevens called The Klansman, where you can see a picture of uh, a Thaddeus Stevens sized character called Austin Stone and conferring with Lincoln. Obviously, the picture was very uh, derogatory towards Thaddeus Stevens. And then later, in 1915, uh, this was made into a movie, a very famous movie, First in the Nation, where Thaddeus Austin Stone, Thaddeus Stevens character, was the villain, and the Ku Klux Klan were heroes. Here you can see a t-shirt put out by Thaddeus Stevens Society along with some other uh, items like a mug and uh, bookmarks put out. So effort to revive Thaddeus Stevens uh, reputation and which will be uh, greatly improved by the movie by Steven Spielberg entitled Lincoln where Tommy Lee Jones plays Thaddeus Stevens crucial part of it. Here you have a picture that was done by Jacob Eichholz uh, in the 1830s of Thaddeus Stevens. Uh, this was uh, just a head and shoulder picture, so to say. Uh, then he also did, this is a primitive uh, picture of Thaddeus Stevens done around the same period by unknown This is also uh, a painting done by Eichholz of Thaddeus Stevens, a much more detailed one, uh, where you can see various aspects of his life uh, there. Uh, the papers that he is holding are believed to be a speech uh, where he gave in 1835 to uh, turn back a repeal of public education. And here is Penn Hall, which was the first building at Gettysburg College. Then we move to a print of Thaddeus Stevens that was done in 1888 by J.P. Mikoski of, uh, of uh, Lancaster. One of the favorite things about this is uh, the, the caption which has uh, fearless champion of freedom for the, for the oppressed. Uh, Mikoski said this about Thaddeus Stevens. Thaddeus Stevens was the mightiest man I ever known. He was the he was of the men who make history and so belonged not to one period of time, but to the ages. And here you can see the uh, quote, fearless champion of freedom for the oppressed. This is a chair, combination desk chair that was used by Thaddeus Stevens. Uh, you can see it has place to write and also uh, a place to hold his papers. Here is a stove that 
Uh, was made of this Caledonia uh, iron mill, which he owned uh, from 1837 until the death of 1868. You can see it just says uh, Caledonia Furnace on it. He named it Caledonia after his home county of Caledonia, Vermont. Very uh, common type of stoves called template stoves, made out of templates. And then flanking it are some shares that were also uh, owned by Thaddeus Stevens. And above that is a copy of the uh, January 21st, 1834 Star and Banner, in which Thaddeus Stevens responds to his critics. Uh, about supporting uh, supporting an appropriation for Gettysburg College of eighteen thousand dollars. 